Miley Cyrus and Liam Hemsworth had their moments of being totally adorable and jealousy-inducing when they were dating, but it wasn't all fun and games throughout their drama-filled time together. Once upon a time, Miley Cyrus and Liam Hemsworth were a power couple. But after a tumultuous on-again, off-again relationship, the couple ultimately announced their separation in 2019, eight months after getting married. The couple was together for about 10 years, since Cyrus was 16. Ever since their split, fans have wanted to know the real reason why Miley Cyrus and Liam Hemsworth divorced in 2019. Cyrus revealed her battles with sobriety, leading some to wonder if substance abuse had anything to do with the end of her marriage. Flash forward four years after their divorce, Cyrus released the diss track Flowers which is the latest new gossip in Celeb Town. What is even more interesting is Liam Hemsworth's reaction over it. In the song, Cyrus talks about loving herself better than her ex. She sings, I can buy myself flowers, talk to myself for hours, say things you don't understand, yeah, I can love me better than you can. Now legal rumours are even circulating that Liam is officially suing Miley for defaming him. In this video, we unpack everything we know so far. Watch the full video to find out how they went from power couple to disaster. Please like this video subscribe to our channel for more celebrity love news. Let's first answer our burning question, why did Miley Cyrus and Liam Hemsworth divorce? Well, let's say that their marriage was complicated. Cyrus was first linked with Hemsworth in 2008, after they starred in the last song. The couple got engaged in 2012 but broke up in the following year. But in 2015, they resumed their romance, and in December 2018, they officiated their marriage. Unfortunately, the marriage didn't even last for a year before she was captured kissing Caitlin Carter. In August 2019, the Hunger Games star announced they had split in an Instagram statement, writing, Hi all, just a quick note to say that Miley and I have recently separated. I wish her nothing but health and happiness going forward, he added before saying it was a private matter and he wouldn't be making any comments to journalists. The reason for the breakup remained a mystery until more than a year later when the Wrecking Ball singer did an interview with Howard Stern. Although Liam wanted to keep things private, Cyrus talked candidly about why their relationship ended. During the show she confirmed that the track, WTF Do I Know, is indeed about her ex-husband. According to Cyrus, the line I don't even miss you, was at that minute, about Hemsworth. She also confirmed the reason why they separated, it was because there was too much conflict, she said on December 2, 2020. She added, when I come home, I want to be anchored by someone. I don't get off on drama or fighting. In the same interview, Cyrus went on to explain why the two wed, saying they may have never gotten married if they hadn't lost their Malibu home in the Wolsey fire in 2018. The trauma from the fire led her to that decision, rather than a deeply rooted desire to be Hemsworth's wife rather than fiancé. She added, I think that's really what, ultimately, getting married was for me. One last attempt to save myself. Not a great foundation to start a marriage. The real truth about her marriage came out during her headlining set at Lollapalooza Brazil. The pop star had some jaded words of wisdom for a pair of Brazilian fans who got engaged during her concert. The unfiltered moment came when the pop star helped a fan propose to his boyfriend on stage during her set. Yes, she shrieked when the fan's boyfriend accepted the proposal. Forever B.H., yes. Congratulations. Honey. I hope your marriage goes better than mine. Mine was a f king disaster. Since their divorce lots of things have been happening again that made their marriage come back to light. First of all, her number one hit, Flowers. The song turned the heads of millions. The pop singer's latest single became one of the most popular songs of 2023, and the year just started. But after many conspiracy theories popped up about their relationship, one that took the internet by storm was that Liam Hemsworth cheated on Miley Cyrus. So with all the context clues in interviews during their divorce, did Liam cheat on Miley? We will explain what we know so far. Let's start with the fact that the cheating is not confirmed. 
The rumours of the song Flowers and the music video revolving around Hemsworth's infidelity were started online by several gossip sites. Cyrus released the song and music video on January 13, 2023, which was coincidentally, or not, on the Hunger Games star's birthday. Pop culture Twitter Poptings claimed in a tweet that the house where the music video for Miley Cyrus Flowers was recorded was previously used by Liam Hemsworth to cheat on Miley with more than 14 women while they were married. The tweet went viral with more than 40,000 likes and 10,000 retweets. A little hint from the alleged cheating already came to light once when Jennifer Lawrence was questioned once about whether or not she kissed Hemsworth while the cameras weren't rolling during an interview with Andy Cohen. Liam and I grew up together, she retorted. Liam is really attractive. What would you have done? Eventually she admitted, yep I have kissed him before. There's still no hard proof of whether Hemsworth cheated on Cyrus with 14 women, but Miley clarified the fact when they first divorced. She actually denied the rumours that cheating was a factor in her divorce from Hemsworth at the time of their split. In August 2019, she tweeted, the truth is, once Liam and I reconciled, I meant it, and I was committed. I can admit to a lot of things but I refuse to admit that my marriage ended because of cheating. You can say I am a twerking, pot-smoking, foul-mouthed hillbilly but I am not a liar. Besides the infidelity hints, rumours are also swirling about the wardrobe choices Miley made for the video clip of Flowers. Fans believe that the oversized suit jacket actually belongs to Mr. Hemsworth. Internet sleuths on Twitter and TikTok are claiming it's the same one he wore to the Avengers Endgame premiere in 2019. Any Miley stan worth their stripes will remember that Hemsworth allegedly, and famously, told Cyrus to behave for once at said premiere, after she playfully licked him on the red carpet. The couple officially called it quits shortly after that incident. Another claim that surrounded the song was that Hemsworth dedicated When I Was Your Man by Bruno Mars to Cyrus during their wedding. Miley used the chorus of Mars' song as an interpolation for the chorus for Flowers but again, there aren't any verifications as to whether the claim is true. Brandy Cyrus responded to all the rumours that are circling the internet at the moment with, this is the best PR that could ever happen because it gets people talking about the song on TikTok and it's everywhere. As for if the rumours are true, Brandy told the podcast, I'm not here to say what's true and what's not true. Only Miley knows the truth. After Flowers, bizarre rumours started circling that Liam Hemsworth is suing his ex-wife Miley Cyrus for defamation of character. The fan account falsely claimed Hemsworth was about to lose his contract with Netflix after replacing Henry Cavill in season 3 of The Witcher as a result of the negative press surrounding Flowers. In a follow-up tweet, the account shared leaked documents, purportedly from the actor's legal team, as proof of the defamation claim being lodged. We can confirm that these documents were false. So let's get into the real stuff, what about other relationships? Well, many other relationships have already passed since their divorce. Cyrus and Caitlin's romance only lasted for a month. After that, Cyrus was linked with Australian singer. Cody Simpson for about 10 months. Commenting on the relationship, Simpson said that it was just one of those phases, everything ended fairly amicably. On the other hand, Liam was spotted on dates with dynasty actress Madison Brown in 2019. The two were spotted in restaurants and walking around New York City in October 2019, where TMZ dubbed her as Liam's mystery woman. At the moment, Liam Hemsworth is seeing Gabriella Brooks, the two were initially connected in 2019 when they were seen eating lunch in Australia, where both of them were born and raised. In March 2020, a source revealed to E! News that the two were drawn together by their same interests. She added that Gabriella brings out the best in Liam. Their connection is totally different from Miley's. The insider continued, Gabriella is very laid back and even keeled, in contrast to Hemsworth's 10-year relationship with Cyrus, which was a roller coaster of highs and lows. We are happy to see they are both living their life and happy again. Do you think they were ever a good match? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, 
please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more celebrity love and breakup news.